Welcome to In The Cart, sponsored by MB Golf Cars and Club Car. We're at the Ridge today in Sioux Center, Iowa. I'm here with Kat, Carrie Van Raven. Oh, how do you, I forgot it. Carrie Van Raven's Way. Raven's Way. I had it close, I had it started, but I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't commit. Uh, tell me a little bit about your position here and how long you've been with the Ridge. Okay, so I'm the head golf professional here. PGA member and I've been here since 2011. So I believe this is my 13th season at the Ridge. So we've seen a lot of changes in those years. But uh, yeah, yeah, things are is, going strong. This is a great course to, to feature in this in the cart. Uh, I think it's a, a, one of the top courses that we cover in, in our, uh, our Sioux Wings Golfers Guide. Tell me a, bit, a little bit about the course here. What, what, what is the Ridge known for? Um, so we're more of a Lynx style, but also I think we're considered parkland. Mm -hmm. So it's Lynx, but then we've also got the trees to more frame the holes. So I think right now what we're known for is our fast greens. Um, it's always in good shape as much as we can, even after a rough winter and our huge junior program. Yes. That's what a lot of people know us for right now. I enjoy watching your social, uh, talking about the, the, your junior program you do. Are you, do you do anything with the junior program? Or do, I know there's yes. a couple other uh, teaching professionals too here. Right. I'm responsible for all the organizing and recruiting and teaching and yeah. Yeah. It's huge. Uh, one thing that does is it grows the game. Obviously, you're, you're seeing that next generation of golfers um, out here uh, participating in the sport that we love. Right. Um, tell me about your background a little bit um, and your college career. Yeah, so I grew up in Vermilion, and then I played at USD for four years. And then I worked at Dakota Dunes Country Club for three years before coming here. So now I've been at the Ridge for 12 seasons already. It goes fast, Time doesn't flies, it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I, that's a great career. Um, I don't know, what, how, what what was your career like at um, Vermilion then, USD? At USD? Yeah. Um, it was when we were Division II, uh -huh. so a little different. We were in the NCC conference, mm -hmm. and yeah. Pretty cool. solid. I mean, nothing too exciting. <laughs> what's your What's your degree in then from um, business administration and recreation? Okay. Well, so, so I did. I did, was business administration and computer science. I really yeah. didn't know what I wanted to do. Right. Uh, so I have a golf magazine now. That's what I do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, business related, I guess. But cool. That's great. Uh, where'd you grow up at? Vermilion. You grew up in your Vermilion, yep, Vermilion girl town, then. Town. Awesome. So you yep. stay pretty local here then. Yep. Um, it's maybe an hour or less from Vermilion here at the Sioux Center, right? Yeah, it's right about an hour. Okay, we're gonna go down hole number one here. Uh, it's really busy, we're, it's, we're here on a Saturday. Uh, full tee sheet, which is what you'd expect actually, and it's yep. a beautiful day today, uh, low 70s temperature wise. What's, tell me a little bit about hole one here. So hole one I feel like is one of our more difficult holes. Maybe it's just because it's the first hole, <laughs> but the tee shot, is down towards the south between two bunkers so you got to try to hit the fairway and then it kind of dog legs to the left and the green has that hidden water on the right side that a lot of people don't see you can't so, see it from right here right. this is where your drive lands right um, obviously left is kind of bad there's it's hills moguls um, you got to hit through the sand traps if you happen to hit there yeah yeah, and th is this a par five? This is a par five, right? Par out five. Of, yep, yeah, right out of the gate. Well, a lot of, I, mean, I don't know who the course designer is, but a lot of courses will start with a par five to kind of get things moving a little bit right mm -hmm. away, which I think is a good uh, good strategy as opposed to a par four. Um, we've got three three um, uh, groups playing on this hole right now. All right, let's describe the green up here. What, what are we looking at? The greens here are firm and fast, all of them. So, and I also would say, they're firm and fast, but they have a lot less undulation than other courses. Yeah. So they can be that way. I can agree with that too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're looking at this one here. It is pretty relatively flat, but it runs a, a back to front here. Right. Uh, tell me about your um, your greenskeeper here. Steve Roseberry actually has been here since the start, since the grow in and everything. So he's awesome. I don't know where we would be without him. Yes, so. and we were talking about it before we got in the cart that. He is a, a legendary greenskeeper, I think. Yeah. He's very well respected, um, has a huge following, actually. <laughs> I mean, I follow him. I think, yeah. he's, I think he's awesome. He's always posting something interesting right. and fun. 
So a project that they're working on out here at the Ridge, they're doing fundraising for it right now, if I'm not mistaken, is the Little Wispy. What, what is that? Little Wispy is our proposed short course. So right now we're in fundraising stage yeah. and it's gonna be a nine hole short course, which means par threes. And then there's also gonna be a Himalayan putting green and um, a little comfort station. And then also our driving range will be expanded. So there's gonna be a tee from the south hitting north. Okay. That's a lot larger to accommodate how busy we are. Right, with, and with all your uh, youth programs and other uh, teaching you might do even for right. adults, that's great to have uh, another option yeah, for them, Yeah, and right? Dort University and the high school teams in the spring and the fall, it's just, we're so busy on the range, so. Definitely, it's, it's good to have that, that amount of practice facilities to accommodate all of those right. activities then. Plus, if you have tournaments, you got more space for them to, exactly. to practice and yep. get warmed up. And uh, tell me about your events and stuff you do out here. So we do about 20 corporate outings a year. Mm -hmm. And then we also do a monthly ridge tournament. So either a four person scramble or a shamble or yep. different events like that. We have our chili open in the fall. It's probably our most popular. It's six, six and six. Sure. Um, and then we have kids events and our club championships coming up. Golden Derby, which is our member guest event, is next week, so the guys are pretty excited about that. Absolutely. This is the time of the year when you're seeing all those club yep. events, <laughs> uh, the championships events. I mean, we list, you know, over 700 tournaments, and that's what I'm, we're seeing right now right. is all those, you know, member guests, and invitationals, those kind of things right there. So we just passed hole number two, which was a par three over the water. Um, I think that's a pretty challenging hole. What do you have to say about hole two? Yeah, that bunker right in the middle of the green. Well, right short of the green, but right in the middle makes it's, it difficult. It's protecting it, no right. doubt about it, right? Um, I think the wind's a lot of times out of the south, and that's kind of plays into it a lot, too. Um, yeah. It's kind of angled a little bit, but yeah, that's it's a, it's a challenging, right. challenging Water hole Water short, there. OB left, fescue right. <laughs> yes, and there is a lot of fescue out here. And long. Yeah, <laughs> there's some over here, uh, grass. You can see from right here. Yeah, that's where it's all going to be. That right there. Which I think that's when you're property. standing on two <clears throat> green, mm -hmm. that's going to be so cool. It will be. There's going to be a little pond, actually, like just Dalton. past where those carts are. Yeah. It's there's kind a, of already natural. There's adult. a drainage area, right? Yeah. Like that comes in right there. Absolutely. That's going to be so cool. Yeah. It, it, it fits in, we were talking about it, and I was like, I think it's just connected adjacent to the property. Right. So it'll be a nice uh, addition. And you, like you said, when you're driving up, you'll be able to see it really nicely. Yeah. So that Himalayan putting green will be like, yeah. just the other side of those evergreens. And then the, the driving range tee box will come back this way. Mm -hmm. So we have a range tee box, like they're actually on it right there. Yeah. But it'll come back like 50 yards. A little bit more space, that way you're not yeah. getting into each other as much. Right. When will it be open for, for business or when are you participating? We would really like to break around this fall. Yeah. So hopefully by next fall, yep, it would be ready. playable, but it all depends on the weather. Growing. And yeah. Growing season. We are on the schedule with landscapes. Okay. So. Nice. That's awesome. It's promising. It is promising. That's a, yeah. that's a start. That's where you got to hope right. for and, and see how it goes, but you got everybody else in line ready, ready for it to happen. Yep. It's different than if you had like a full course you're trying to build, you'd be more yeah, on it. that will be three or four years, right? Yes, yeah. but this is just kind of an additional. But the the holes look really interesting from what I've seen on the website. Um, right. Kind of different things that you're trying to do. Um, it exposed people to different things maybe they haven't even heard of. Yeah, before. did you see all the signature greens? I did. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's pretty exciting. I, I can't wait to come back out and maybe do an in the cart on that. Yeah. Maybe it'll be walking only, but we'll we'll definitely well, do a feature on that. Be carts on that because yeah. there's some longer holes. It looks like too. Yeah. Like we just want it to be accessible to everyone. That's good. So. And that's what I think is great about golf. We should make it more accessible to everybody and make yeah. it more fun and and that will be a little maybe uh, easier approachable for people that aren't familiar with the game right. or new to the game even. I think it'll be for everyone. Well, like with those signature greens. Yeah. Even if you're a two handicap, like that's gonna be fun to go out there with a group of guys, yep. play a game. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well and the the holes the courses that we've experienced like that, there's the fast five in Sioux Falls. Yep. It isn't a beginner's course. It you have to you have to right. get straight. That's what we're um, hoping for. They have fescue around that too, so it's like you can't be in the in the stuff. You gotta right. you gotta play it. And play it's it actually true. the same course designer. So Jerry Slack okay. designed this. And he designed that as well. Oh, that's perfect. So it's gonna so, it's gonna match and mesh. Yeah, he's really, really well. excited about it. That's awesome. 
They're building another hotel right here. Oh, good. Yeah. More stay and play opportunity. Absolutely. And actually, as part of that, there's a developer that's going to build like two or three stay and play homes. That's cool. Yes. This is an idea I've had for a while. It's like, so I love craft beer. It's like, make, let's make it a brewery. Maybe you could stay on property. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And it's not like a hotel room. It's bigger than that. You right. know, it's more like an Airbnb. Like a house Airbnb. where you, yeah. Absolutely. This would be, Rented. I think, more like an Airbnb because we're so, yeah. the town is busy year round. Like yeah. they just built a dome, like nice. a sport dome. Yeah. So that opened in the winter and I mean, you couldn't find a hotel room all winter long. Every right, weekend, exactly. they were full. It's busy. They're here every day. Yeah, They'll done. be okay. Can we play through? <laughs> well, we're just we're just, <laughs> we're just driving. driving through. <laughs> <laughs> so then you'll go around the back, and then there's a cart path that cuts out. Right? Over there, okay. Yeah, right by that building. Perfect. Well, I like that you have cart paths for everybody that helps keep make Steve job a lot easier, right? Yeah, actually... <laughs> Yeah, it's not continuous the whole course, but... Yeah, but enough. Right. And um, they're route... Like, the holes are routed so you don't get lost. Yes. Ex which I appreciate. There's so many places like that. You're like, where do I go? So right. here and then up. Yeah. There you go. So I don't even know if you knew these two boxes were here. No. So we're so jumping ahead to hole eight here. And this is a hole that can be played as a par three or a par four. Correct. Correct. Yep. Um, so we got a little tee box here that, I, like I said, I don't even think I knew about that one. So these are probably 235. Okay. That back one, this is about, oh, well, maybe they're more than that. So this one right here, the gold tee today is par three at 216. Okay. So those ones probably go to 265, par right. four. Right, that's a par four. Yeah, and it's a pretty challenging uh, tee shot, even from up here, I think. Yeah, this is a tough hole. It's one of those that I would say is one of my top three favorite holes, mm -hmm. just because of the challenge. Yep. It looks really good to the eye off the tee box. Absolutely. And you got some bunkers on the front left and then in the back, there's also bunkers. So you really got to dial in and get, get right. the green with this one. And but today the pins kind of tucked around to the back. So you yeah. got to work the ball right to left. Got a there. little preview of it from when we golf it later here after our, our yeah. in the cart series here. But it's a fairly small green, actually, when you get up here, but uh, maybe a little more forgiving than you would think, but you just can't see a lot of it Correct. from the tees. Yep. Yeah, and it slopes front to back. Front to back, yeah, which is a, can get you too. I know we've hit over it before. Uh, we've had people back here, maybe almost in the yard. <laughs> so you gotta be careful on that one, not yep. to carry too much. And there's a little bit of, if there's a little bit of breeze behind you out of the south, that's gonna be a, be a challenge as well. Absolutely. It's okay. windy here most days. I know. And that's what we were looking at last year. When we were here in end of August. It was windy. Yeah. It was like 20 miles sustained. And we're like, oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So let's move over to, um, we're gonna go to the back nine. Let's go to the back nine. You have a full service clubhouse to what kind of uh, pro, pro staff uh, level clubhouse stuff do you have going on? I mean, we have full fitting equipment for Titleist, TaylorMade, Ping, mm -hmm. Callaway, Tour Edge. So we have high end to a little bit lower end equipment. Mm -hmm. um, we try to carry different clothing brands. We have Vineyard Vines, we have Johnny O. Uh, we have Adidas and Under Armour also. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a stocked pro shop. People are usually surprised about that in a small community. Absolutely right. And that's what I, I appreciate about your clubhouse. That's why I asked you about it, because it is very well equipped. You have new stuff all the time, new uh, clothing, and the, the logo always really pops on those things, I think. All right, so we're going to come down. We are at hole number 10 on the back nine here. Characterize this hole for me, uh, Carrie. Um, I feel like hole 10 is a little bit sneaky. The tee shot is somewhat blind for longer players. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty straight hole, but you can't see where you're going. So you right. got to hit up over this hill, and then you have a smaller green. And the green appears that it has a lot of break from the back to the front, but really it's just flat. It's flat? Okay, thought, that's yeah. good to know. Keep, <laughs> keep that tip in your mind there because yeah. I, don't, I don't think I knew that actually. Yeah. It's pretty flat. Um, I know when we get up here, uh, isn't there a drop off on the left side? Of the yeah, green? there's water on the left and there's a big bunker short left as yeah. well. Yeah, so that's a little intimidating when you're on that approach shot, even after you've nailed the perfect drive down the fairway. Yeah, that's a big bunker. 
yeah, as we're approaching here, you do get a good look at the green actually from our up up in here. But yeah, you don't yeah. you don't want to. Once again, you just gotta you gotta aim and hit where you need to go. Yep. I think we can probably just play through quick right yep. through here. They are still searching. <laughs> the green appears to go this way, right? It's pretty flat. Yeah. Because the water's that way, I feel yeah. like it levels it out. For sure it does. Yeah. It's good to remember. Okay, as we approach hole 11, describe this shot to me. When you're looking at it right away, it's wide open. It feels like it's wide open. It does. On a league night, that fescue to the right is full of people searching for balls. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> How does right. that happen? There's fescue left, fescue right. It's yeah. a beautiful shot set up with the water. Mm -hmm. It's a downhill a tee shot. Um, is this a par five? No, it's par four. Par four. It's pretty long, just by my, right. my eye judging it right now. But I feel like it needs to be long so that your tee shot doesn't reach the water. True. Yeah. And you're free to just swing away. Go for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we get a little, a lot of shots over here. Okay, that's good to know. Yep. I know uh, the long driver in our group, he gets to the water on this one. He's got to yeah. be careful with that. So maybe a layup. There or... are some players that lay up. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. That way well, you don't have to worry about even approaching that um, that hazard. But then your second shot into the green is also not easy. <laughs> exactly. Everything funnels left towards the water. Okay. And you have the bunkers right. I'd almost be, I'd rather be in the bunker. Than be left. Than be left, because <clears throat> everything kicks left. Yeah, when if you miss the green, green it's gonna firm, kick. firm, yes. Okay. I think what's really cool about this one is you do have like a little bridge uh, behind it you can walk up to. Uh, yeah, that waterfall. waterfall feature was added a few years ago. And I think it just makes the hole now. Absolutely does. Frames it a little better. Yeah, it's it's a, I don't know, I feel like this is maybe the, one of the signature holes on, on the course. Yep. Twelve's a rough hole right now because we're redoing those tee boxes. Okay. So. Gold is oh, here. I see. Blue's over there. So over there, you're oh, about over there. 135, 140. <laughs> I, but that angle is so much easier. That's way better. Yeah. Um, yeah. This the last time I played out here, I hit the road. I think. Yeah. I mean, it was 20 mile an hour sustained winds. Yep. From so, the south. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, well, that kind of makes sense. That's where you ended up at. Yeah. But you got to hit enough club so you get over the water and not front and edge that of that. Green's about 12 paces deep. It is. It's a long, narrow one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and the flag's moving today. It looks like it's out of the north a little bit. I wasn't really bit. feeling that back there. Yeah. It was more uh, stationary, I would say. But yeah, this this is this is a really tough hole. I uh, it's fun to fun to play though. Uh, they're doing a little construction on the tee boxes, so we're we'll be playing a little bit further up today, which might be an advantage. Yeah, I think it was 135. 135. Yep. I'll get a good look at the pin here so I know where we're going to be at. Um, it's like the middle. It's a middle pin yep. position today. No problem. Should nope. be easy, easy right? <laughs> if you land short, it's going to kick left or right, though. Yes, it will. There's a there's a little valley right there, and I'll just go whoop, wherever you're. These bunkers, though, are unique. If you go in this back right bunker, uh -huh. put it out onto the green. It's, it's firm it's enough got, you can do that? Yeah, it's firm and it's got that nice oh, crisp oh, that lip. Oh, front, that front lip is pretty yep. easy. And then they've actually, the last couple of years, been growing in the grass on the back sides of those okay. little um, eyebrows. Is that what they call them? Sure. That, that's what it seems like. So yeah. So it's got some fescue grass there. Really picturesque then. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's some geese playing in that one right now. Yeah. <laughs> so the water does continue then. Uh, this is uh, 15? This is 13. 13? Okay, 13. got ahead of myself. Uh, you got to clear some water on your tee shot here. Uh, I, li I like this hole. Uh, got to get a nice long hit on it. And it's a par five. Yes, we have back-to-back -back par fives here. Back-to-back -back par fives. There's something unique that you don't see very often. Right. Um, opportunities though, obviously, if you can get yeah, two so good shots in a row. 13, we call the sand hole. Okay. Because there's fairway bunkers, and then there's bunkers short and long of the green. <laughs> so, got to navigate that. Mm-hmm. Stay out of the sand. But you actually have really good uh, sand here, I think. Um, 
much easier to hit Og, more consistent than some places we would, we would play. Also, I mean, obviously it depends on weather conditions. If you had a bunch of rain or something too, right. it's, it's hard to keep them maintained, right? So this hole, you can play it out to the right, and then you have a look at the green. Okay. But most just try to go for it and mm -hmm. I think last time I was over here luck. to the left, and then had, these trees were actually blocking my shot. I got into the rough. So basically a layup shot. So he mowed more, is it fairway cut? It's a shorter cut okay. left of the green, like if you go that way. Yeah, so you have a little bit more opportunity there to Right, you get can to try to green. avoid that bunker and be a little bit long of the green, but exactly. still in a good cut. Love that. That's what I tried for last time, but I caught the edge of the bunker. <laughs> yeah, there's fairway cut here. Yes, that didn't used to be there. Okay. See all that? Yep. That's that's handy. Yes. So I think if I might... you can land it here and then have it roll up next mm -hmm. to the green. I think that's where my third shot was that time yep. last time out here. Yeah, this little basin right here. Yep, little collection area. And our fescue today is in peak form. It's beautiful, it's actually, good. isn't it? Yeah. Have you guys been getting a lot of rain this this year? Um, enough. Enough. Yeah. A lot better than the last two years. I can tell. There's some places that just seem to be in a bubble that are missing it all the yeah. time. That was and us the last two years. You can obviously tell that when when the the rough areas are just yeah. kind of brown. Yeah. Steve does an amazing job. That's with awesome. What we get. Yeah. Got enough irrigation going as well to yes. make it work. There's one more thing. One more thing you want to talk about? So hole, this hole. Okay. So there, 14. if you go up the hill, yeah. Okay. It used to be rough across the middle at about 150 yards. Okay. And that was not the original design. But when they did the grow in, it was too wet and rainy and they just couldn't get the fairway mowed right there. So now this year, he decided to cut it fairway height. So there's not that rough across the middle. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah might get a roll through there or not have to hit out of it if you happen to hit in there. Yeah. That's and especially for your mid handicappers and higher mm -hmm. handicappers that mm -hmm. struggle to get the ball in the air. So you can yeah. see it's a little yellow right now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because it's newly cut. Yep. But that's going to make a big difference on this hole for your average player. Average golfer. Yeah. I don't yeah. really think it will affect the better golfers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're going to land and then you probably clear it. But right. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun to to see how that um, develops yeah. for people and what they think of it. Yeah, this is gonna be good. This green is another tough one to hit too, uh, protected by a sand trap on that right. And it's kind of, the it, the green kind of wraps around it almost, you could say. My favorite shot is rolling it through that bunker up onto the green. Okay, see, well that's a play that we need to make sure we uh, uh, As long as the rake's try. not in the way. <laughs> oh, I'll just move it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Carrie, I want to thank you today for taking a little bit of time to do In the Cart with us. Yeah, thanks for coming. Hopefully, um, we'll get some people to come out and try the Ridge. Yeah, like I said, maybe a hidden gem for if you haven't been been here before. One of our top courses that we cover for uh, the Golfer's Guide. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit subscribe, like this video, comment if you've been here before. What are your thoughts on the Ridge here in Sioux Center, Iowa?